G'day everyone and welcome back to This is the Police Chew. It's November 26th and yeah, let's get stuck right in. See what Thank you again for your time, got. Mr. Kogan. And thanks for your patience. Next Thursday we'll have another meeting, by which time I will have some new questions for you. If you remember something new before our next meeting, not just about Jack Boyd, but about your work in the police department as a whole, then just let me know. If you change your work schedule, let me know. If you need to leave Freeburg for some reason, well, you understand. Let me know. <laughs> don't look at me, Mr. Kogan. I don't want to be here any more than you do. If it was up to me, neither one of us Thank would Thank you have again, to. Mr. Kogan. You are free to go. Take it easy on these people, Lana. They don't have to... I'm just doing my job, Wilton. It's your job, too, remember? Please invite Miss Emma Weinstein in. Emma Weinstein? Again? <laughs> what is this already, her sixth? Just the fourth. And you're hoping to learn something new. As far as I recall, she just keeps saying the same thing. I will definitely learn something new, Wilton. Even if she keeps saying the same thing. Even the fact that she always repeats all the answers word for word. That's already very important information just by itself. <sighs> well, yes, 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 for you. Because the whole world around you is very important information. Good morning, Miss Weinstein. I'll ask you some questions, some of them new, others I've already asked you during previous interviews. But I hope that you'll be kind enough to... You can ask me any questions, Miss Thurman. I'll answer you. For the second time, the fifth, the tenth, as long as it takes. You know that. Then let's not waste any time. Alrighty, so this is our secretary. And we're going to... Getting asked a whole bunch of questions we've got to answer. I'm just going to play these straight down the line, not give her anything. Uh, nope. Don't remember us ever being asked anything illegal. Nope. Exactly. No. Not that I'm aware of. We are um, Jack Boyd's children. All right, next question. Uh, who would like it? Yeah, exactly. All right, questioning over. All right, Fraser Crane's back. He wants to get. Hope we didn't catch him. No, we didn't, Fraser. Rockman. Rockman? Oh. Oh, all right. <coughs> all right, Perkins is back. Cool. A man down. That's all right. Um, Perkins, you're going to get worked hard, boy. Hard. All right, let's auto-assign stuff. Beautiful. All right. And start the day. I'm going to send... And ah, cool. So you can actually choose what you want them to look for frames on. Cool. I reckon it's the schoolboy, so we're going to... Hmm... I'm going to leave the other job for today. We'll come back to that. And let's see what... Alright. Robert Duval's in the house. 534 in progress. Okay, child abuse at the high school. Alright, so... Uh, I'm going to send Mzungu and Kurosawa and... Tex Perkins on that job. 
A little bit overkill, but I really need to chip up. I need to get these guys a bit more experience. 5.30 in progress. Okay, so... That doesn't get me right. Let's send the females on that job. What's she got? Batten. Cool. Batten and uh, tear gas. Nice. Let's send them. Beautiful. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, take down the teacher with a swift baton strike, please. Mazungu. 534, complete. Nice. Well done, Mazungu. Good work. Really nice. Uh, take that stuff to my office, please. Yeah, because we can use all that on tactical missions as we saw. Um, bum, 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 bum. 540 in progress. Oh. Uh, yeah. Batten, wallop. 530 complete. Beautiful. Well done, Sperry. Uh, Sperry, you can have a negotiation point. And pots, I want you of speed, please. Good girl, pots. Uh, all right, some guff at the courthouse. Mm. Uh, let's just wait. Uh, actually, you know what? We gotta. Hmm. Uh, man, Kurosawa, you annoy me greatly. Alright, Mazungu. Off you go. Drain the clerk. 540 complete. Beautiful. Great job, Mazungu. And you can have. Uh, you can have a speed upgrade as well. Good. 530 in progress. Alright, salt at the registry office. Let's send Spurry and Pots on that one. 526 in progress. Attempted murder at Pickley's place. Not sure about that. That feels like a false alarm. That feels like a false alarm. Uh, Okay. Five thirty complete. Uh. Hmm. That wasn't an ideal one. Ooh, bomb threat at the warehouse. Five sixteen in progress. Ah, good. Was a uh, uh, disorderly conduct in the city centre. I'm going to send Rosencrantz and Perkins to. Do you have a taser? No. Alright, let's just keep an eye on this because we've got a tactical situation brewing. Okay. We'll keep an eye on the time because we want to get to that. I also want to get these two guys back. So the more cops we can send, the better. Ah. Oh. 
All right, new frames. New more along the leaves Elmer's house. Okay. Hmm. Five sixteen complete. Beautiful. Well, um, boys, come on home. Hopefully, you're gonna get back in time. No. All right. I'll have to go without them. Uh. Make sure we've got. Hmm. Plenty of tasers. Good. Good. I want pots on this. She's our best negotiator. Let's swap her for Mzungu. Alright. Mm. We'll do it this way then. Oh, okay, so he won't go... If there's any women on the job. And she won't go... Alright, so we can't send pots. So. Hmm. Alright. Well, we're going to end the day on a tactical mission. Alright, cops have arrived at the scene. I thought I was going to be taken hostage, but I somehow miraculously escaped the warehouse. Okay. Um, guys came up, um, rope, an arm load of dynamite. I haven't used dynamite for a while. Okay. I do have cigarettes, but I'm not sure. I like your information, Sonny Jim. I've got no boots for this guy. Uh, okay. Half assed bombers, I'll probably get a promotion. Okay. Uh, so, not get near the bomb. In fact, stay as far away from it as you can. Old dynamite becomes un unstable. Yes. Mm. Okay, thanks, mate. Uh, okay. Uh-huh, alright. Yep, yeah, okay, there's a hole in the fence. Cool. Oh yeah, that's there. Okay. Alright. Let's proceed and see what we can... Uh come up with. Alright, Marshall, I want you to take that. I want you to have that. And definitely that. And that. Uh, that one, that one. Cool. I like that perk. Force surrender is important here. Ooh.
Ooh. The shadow knows. Uh, yeah, yeah, want that. Want that, and... That one, and birch. Assign their skills. Let's get to work. All right, let's put let's put you there. We have visual. Good, you get cover there. You there? I want cover there, please. And cover there. Cover there. Put you cover there. Good. Let's see what this bloke's going to do. Alright, so we've got a guy over here. We've got a guy here. This bloke we're going to move up on him Let's see if we can't do something about him let's 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 play knifey spoony with him nice you still got cover Beautiful. Uh, yeah, you're going that way. Stack four of you guys in here if I can. Uh, you go around that side. Yeah, you, I want you. Roger. Front end of that car. We have visual. Probably got too many guys over this side actually. You know what, I'm going to put you, swap you over here. Yeah, that's better. And let's stack you up on there. And move you to that door. Beautiful. You over here. Let's get you on the door here. And then let's stack you in there. We have this one. Nice. Let's put you on guard. Put you on cover there. It's not really you got no real cover there, mate, but Alright, we need to get you there. And you to there. Uh, what do you got? Stun grenade. Hmm. Yeah. Tempted to throw a stun grenade. Do 
he goes in there, he's getting awareness in there. So, how do I skip? No. I don't know how I skip his turn. Hmm. We could bum rush him, but then we'll get shot. Don't want to use the stun grenade. Hmm. Alright, I think we've... No, I don't want him in there. Yeah, because there he's, there he's in danger. You know what? I'm going to move you back there. I'm going to swap him. Roger. Yeah. That's probably... Oh, okay, we could have probably got that guy. That's alright. Um... Okay, he didn't see the copper behind him. That's your bad luck, son. Alright. You're going to... Oh, I don't like that... spot. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to put you... Yeah, I want you there. Suspect. Knife him. Good. Okay, there's a guy over there. That's interesting to know. Alright, you're going to stack up on this bloke. Yeah, I know you saw that, didn't you? Yeah. Oh! Double knife to the throat. I like it. You can stack up on there. You, and then just to there. You can... Move in there. Beautiful. Alright, so we've got a suspect there. Uh, I want you there, because I want to get eyes on... Hmm. If I move you... There you are, uh, exposed big league. Um, right, if I move you in there... We have this one. Okay, so you've got a guy over there. Now, you haven't taken your other move. Can you... You can't cap him from there. Uh, this is not ideal. All right. Yeah, so you move, you come back here, you have to think a bit more about this. New... Roger. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if we want to go frontal assault yet. Mm. So can you make it all the way to there for cover? Oh, you can. Beauty. Go. 580. Yeah, I'm not too fussed about that guy. It's more about get you to... You could be remotely accused of cover. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll move you back in there. 
that's a little safer. All right, so I've got you. I want you to stack up there. Ah, okay, cool. All right. Ah, that's how you switch team members. Nice. Okay. All right, you can move up there. Good. Let's end the turn. All right. So we know we got this guy. We got a guy back here. I think the guy back here might be. Uh, Alright, let's take a Ranovich and deal with this guy. Roger. We have visual. Yeah, that's fine. Now, Duval, I want you. I want you to take him out, Duval. Target eliminated. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, Robert Duval worked out really good there. Now, having said that, Abramovich is still pretty exposed, so... Let's get someone up on cover here. Alright, so he's... Hmm. Roger. We're certainly not going in there. Do you have the view suspects perk? I'm going to select that just in case the they come out. Alright, so... Let's get you moved up. Most spots aren't ideal, but uh Roger. you up there. And I want you there. Alright, let's see if see if there's any movement. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Captain. Roger. Okay, we've taken one down. Nice. All right. That's good. Things are working just how we want them. Uh, let's get you up on that wood pile. We don't know what's inside there. So let's let's get to Fraser and let's get eyes up there. I'm just tempted to pull him back. Hmm. Yeah, almost tempted to pull him back, move these guys away from that door. Roger. Because that guy's aware. Uh, let's put you in there. And let's move you up to cover there. Right, we've got seven turns to go. At some point we're going to have to bum rush these fools. Put you over there. 580. Okay, so there's, wow, a lot of guys in there. Ooh. All right. 
Oh, shoot. They just... Oh, they just kept one of our guys. Not ideal. Um... Hmm. Uh. All right. Mustard. You're not going to be able to do anything to that guy, so... Mzungu. Cap him. <laughs> and stack up on the door. Uh, I want you in there as well. Oh, man. Uh... Actually, I want Abramovich. I want you to move up and deal with this guy via the knife. We don't have... Do we have Robert Duval? No, he's been used. Okay. okay let's move you in here. And take him out. Uh, what do we got here? What have you got? Oh, I did not want you to go there. What special equipment have you... Let's move you up there. Uh, we have it. All right, three to go. He's probably going to come out and one of our guys is going to get capped. He missed, thank God. Okay, he's heading to the back. Oh, we've got another guy coming up here. That guy's moving up there. Alright. Alright, Mustard, what do you got? I reload. Stun grenade. Where can you... No, okay, it doesn't work. Alright, let's get you... Let's use Mzungu. What can you... Right. Mzungu, you move there. And... <laughs> Cap that fool. Uh, he can't get to anywhere coverage. So... Alright, that's Mustard. Alright, so if we put Colonel Mustard in here, he can... Actually, Birch. What do you got, Birch? You got a stun grenade too. I like it. 595. Alright, so... One there, one there. You know what, Birch? I'm... No, alright. Let's send. Let's send you in there. Roger. And then. See if you can cap this son of a bitch. Roger. 
Yes, good. All right, that worked. Now, you've got to move up on this fool. And knife him. Now, I want you to take Roger. cover there. 580. All right, so we know where that guy is. You, I want you take cover there. <laughs> All right, see what the suspects do this time. Look, this is the last guy. Oh, he took a shot at him. All right. Oh, we got one injured cop. Let's stack you up there. And let's get you in there. Let's move you there. Now, can you get a shot on him? Can. See if we can end this. Oh, silent shot. Down he goes. All right. Job done. Nice. All right, everyone chips up. Suspects arrested, suspects killed. Nice. Good work, Jensen. But Alex Marshall, you're a bit hurt. All right, so you can have... I want you to have... Let me get you on to uh, some investigations. Okay, Mustard, you need stealth. All right, Mazungu, nice, nice. I uh, want you to have some better shooting. Good man. Uh, Fraser Crane, let's go with strength for you. And Abramovich, you can have the Chelsea Football Club. Nice. Verge. Great job, mate. Great job. Uh, awesome. Don't know. Ah, here we go. Injury. He's going to be in hospital for six days. Oh, that's disappointing. All right. It's the end of the day. Let's see how many bottle caps we got. Wow. Nice. 50, 61. One civilian died. Oh. 57 bottle caps. Nice. Ring pulls. Uh, we need to buy yeah, all of those. Oh, mate, have a look at Duck Dynasty. Yeah. I want you and McP <laughs> McParrot. What a great name. I'm going to buy both of those. Wish I had some more taser cartridges, but that's not a bad... Uh, it's not bad. All right. Uh, tomorrow shift mustard Rosencrantz. I want it. I want to ditch her so bad. Uh, Mazungu, you can have the day off. Clumsy, you're coming in. You guys can have the day off. Nash, even as a kid, I wasn't like. Okay. Several prototype police uniforms and dreamed that I could one day wear them in service. Hey. Go for it. Not overly fast. McOneye, Kurosawa. Oh, I want to get rid of you so bad. Perkins. Oh. 
Hey, we need to rest some of these guys. Uh, so we're going into the next day with eight people. Great. Because the rest of our team actually really needs a rest. I need to. Alright, and let's end the day. And that'll be the end of the episode. So, ooh, cutscene. Do you see him, Pedro? Has he already ordered a drink? What? What chihuahua? Are you sure you're looking at the right guy? Uh, do, do you see a basket of strawberries? Pedro, 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 not everything is important. It doesn't matter how he's dressed. A basket of strawberries. Do you see it? Has, has he already started eating the strawberries? Uh, uh, all right, all right, Pedro. Don't worry about that. If he's eating strawberries from a basket, then he's the one we need, no doubt. Just, all right, just wait until he's eaten all the strawberries and then approach him, right? Right, right, Pedro, right, right. I'll be waiting for your call. Just stick to the plan, all right? Pedro? It's me. Oh, oh Jack. Yeah, I was sure you must be dead. Look, Fry, I, I know that I... I... I hear there's a federal agent who's interested in you. He's already reached Millington. From there, I think he'll be uh, heading north. What do you think, Jack? Has he picked up your trail? Fry, let's just talk. Jack, how happy he'll be to find out you're still alive. A, a, a young agent, a, a, let's call him Chris, dreaming of a brilliant career. He wants to prove to his alcoholic father that he's made something of his life. And the girl? Let's call her uh, Tanya. She's recently left him. So he'd just love to play the hero all over the front page and then just rub her nose in it. <laughs> oh, oh, and Chris? Chris has an arrogant colleague, too. Uh, let's call him uh, Tommy, who's always laughing at him. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. You know what, Jack? I think Tommy's fucking Tanya. I mean, this whole time. <laughs> How could I have missed it? Tommy's fucking Tanya. And worse, the alcoholic father is banging Tanya, too. I mean, they're all fucking around over there. And and just think about poor old Chris. Fry, let's just... <laughs> oh, 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 and by the way, did I mention that Chris has a, a bit of a stutter? I, naturally, that meant problems at school. Oh, and not just at school, but at the academy, too. Yeah, 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 he was nearly kicked out of the academy twice, even though his marks were brilliant. Imagine, they were ready to kick the guy out just because he stutters a little. <laughs> no, nobody wants to have anything to do with him. You know what that's like, Jack, huh? And suddenly, our stutterer Chris, less than six months at the Bureau, he catches a fugitive off the federal wanted list. And not just anyone, but Jack Boyd, the king of corruption. I mean, the symbol of our whole society's disintegration. Al Capone in a police cap. Nobody else could do it. But there's just something about Chris. You know, Jack? Good Lord, Fry, it's just... Now, Tanya wants to fuck him, and the prom queen Sharon wants to fuck him, and even Susie the ballerina, who turned him down on three separate occasions because she didn't want to have anything to do with the fucking stutterer. Well, now Susie is showing off her pirouettes in his bedroom. And it's all thanks to you, Jack. All thanks to the fact that you couldn't stick to our simple arrangement... And answer the fucking phone when I call. I couldn't pick up the phone because at the moment when you called, the phone was literally being shot at. And then hey, I... You're one lucky bastard, Jack. I mean, you you are lucky that I have such a cold black heart, completely incapable of compassion, without batting an eyelid. I will leave that poor stutterer Chris with nothing. I'll make a couple of calls, and he'll turn right around on that road he's on to Sharpwood and return to his miserable life of the lonely loser. He's just not the right man for Tanya. I mean, some people just aren't made for each other, you know? <laughs> and true, you'll have to pay me twice as much. Twice? 20000 But I only oh, just... That, that's not the worst of it, Jack. You not only have to pay me twice as much, but you'll have to do it four times as often. 20000 a week. I hope whatever mess you got yourself in, you, you still got all your fingers, or, or at least enough of them to pull out a bank transfer. How long until the next payment? Huh? Four days? Uh, come on. Let's talk oh, like... Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. I have another call. I, I'm guessing that Mr. Cervantes just finished eating his strawberries. His what? Strawberries? 
Listen, Fry, I'm just asking you... Fuck. Oakley doakley. Uh, Jack's in a bit of trouble there. I apologise for all that swearing, do folks. Um, anywho, I'm going to leave this episode here. I want to thank you all for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode of This is the Police Chew, please remember to leave a like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of it and all the other games, please subscribe and hit the notification icon and comments. Please feel free to leave comments because your support is awesome and I love reading them and you know, you're getting all your advice and your support. So yeah, thanks again for joining us. Until next time, letters.